Chapter 10, Mishnah 3. The Mishnah returns to the case of a two-story house owned by two people that collapsed. If the owner of the upper story wants to rebuild his apartment, the owner of the ground floor is obligated to rebuild the ground floor to enable the upper floor to be rebuilt on top of it. The Mishnah discusses the law when the owner of the upper apartment wants to rebuild, but the owner of the ground floor does not. A two-story house belonging to two people collapsed. If the owner of the upper story told the owner of the ground floor to rebuild his apartment so that the upper story can be rebuilt on top of it, but the ground floor's owner does not want to rebuild, the owner of the upper story may rebuild the ground floor himself and live in it until the owner of the ground floor pays him for his building expenses. Since the owner of the ground floor is obligated to ensure that the upper story can be rebuilt, the owner of the upper apartment has the right to use the ground floor until its owner pays for his share of the construction. Another opinion. Rabbi Yehuda says, even in such a case, this one, the owner of the upper story, is nevertheless living in his friend's property, since he thereby receives monetary benefit from his friend, and he will have to pay the owner of the ground floor rent for the time he lives there, because anyone who receives monetary benefit from someone else's property must pay for that benefit. Rather, in order to avoid having to pay rent, the owner of the upper story should rebuild both the ground floor and the upper story, and build a roof over the upper story. He should then live in the lower apartment until the owner of the ground floor pays his expenses. Since he now has another apartment available to live in, namely the upper apartment, he does not gain any monetary benefit by living on the ground floor and thus does not have to pay rent for living there.